Welcome, this is the Waste Terra for Underworld Speed Clear Part 1. Uh, I have put the equipment in the beginner's video. Please feel, feel free to pause this video right now and check the equipment that you will need. Alright, as soon as, soon as you enter in, one of the Terras will lure the skeleton down from upstairs and he's looming right now and once the skelly comes down uh, you will kill it and after that the team will pop the cons once the cons are popped just wait for the lab tank to aggro all the mobs around the chamber and wait while the emo bonds everyone Once the lab tank is at that location and pings a target, run in with obsidian and block it. Block the mobs from getting out. Usually you won't get killed but if you do it's no problem, just wait for the res and back out. Once that is done, wait for the lab ta tank to pull the other mobs. Usually you will not you will try not to aggro the bladed but if they do just block the path and make sure they don't aggro onto the emo over here the pits plains and the mountain spools terra will go on their own path to the right and you will wait for one final block before you can go to the waste once the lab tank pulls them out here and stops you go and block them and once the block is over just run on over to waste okay so what you will need to do in waste is pop the reaper kill the three skellies that you need kill the smites and the coal fires around the reaper and around the waste area I will show you the places so once you're clear just cast obsidian stone flesh aura and stone striker and let the smites come to you and then run on via with storm chaser chaser just wait here so and lure them back uh, so that you don't get body blocked and once uh, you got them aggroed properly like this just run on over on the path uh, that is shown over here it's very important that you don't don't get body blocked because if you get body blocked and a skelly happens to be walking by you will die so just aggro the first group of cold fires aggro the second group of cold fires over here and there will be another group of cold fires right over there stop at this location and sliver down the smites also keep an eye on the skelly that patrols this area I will sh show you that later so since you get got the cold fire separated I yeah go ahead and kill the skelly and since I got the cold fire separated and uh, the groups are distinguished I choose to kill these three uh, cold fires that are closer to the reaper Let's just go ahead and kill them right now once they are dead go ahead and aggro the smites close to the reaper and stand here and then sliver them down another thing you need to be careful of is you don't lure the smites too close to the coal fires because if that happens the coal fires will use frozen burst which will hit the smites and then they will in turn use smite hex to remove that uh, and their smite hex will actually hit you for 70 damage and if enough of them, enough of them use smite hex you will almost die every time so once the smites are dead go ahead and aggro the terror ribs move back and forth uh, until a point where you see that they're a little bit more bu bunched out from the rest of the coal fires once you find that point you just go ahead and s sliver them down once 
Once the terror weapons are dead, the Reaper will pop. This mark on the map. Oh, after that, come over here and wait for the patrolling skelly to come. That's the second of the three skellies that you need to kill. When the skelly is close by, just run up to him and slay him down. Another thing you never want to aggro skellies and smites at the same time. Either one of the or the other. If you aggro both at the same time, you will probably not be able to kill the skelly and you will die a lot of the times. So once they are dead, aggro this group and aggro another group of smites. Aggro them and sliver them down. Also try to make sure that you uh, are able to distinguish between groups that are close to the reaper and the groups that are not because uh, otherwise you're gonna have to uh, try to run out the aggro a bit and to make sure that uh, cause it make sure that you have the right coal fire because you don't want the coal fire to run back and kill the reaper or get glitched at a, at a location where your team will have to kill it later So right now I'm just I have this uh, the one of the cold fires that are closer to the reaper selected and I will just run around till I can get him bunched uh, away from the rest of the group. So right now I see that it's uh, a little bit away from the other cold fire so I just go ahead and sliver them down. So once these three are done, you just want to kill the other skelly that you have left you have killed two right now and you have one skelly left so right now I have enough time so I'm just gonna go farm a bit of smites over here I have didn't use stone flesh aura at the right point that's why my health got, got that low so just learn from this mistake and always have stone flesh aura maintained on yourself stone flesh aura and obsidian that's a skelly that you do not need to kill but I kill them just in case as they do have a chance of dropping ectos so you can far farm them if you want what I did right there was not probably not smart as I ran the smites too close to the cold fires so try not to do that learn from my mistakes So once the smites are dead, you need to kill the last skelly that you need to. That's the skelly right there. Let's sliver recharge. You don't want to run into a skelly without sliver re with sliver recharging. Just run him to him and sliver him down. Once that is dead, your main job is over. Uh, what you need to do is just, I mean, you don't need to do it, but yeah, you can farm right now farm all the smites you can over here I'm just waiting for the main team to finish um, till then I'm just gonna run around uh, forming some forming things also it's also beneficial if you clear out this area I mean the smites that are around this area because this is the path that the 
Necro, the Rit, and the lab team will take to come and do the last quest with you. So if you clear the smites out of this area, it leaves them an open path. Over here, you do not need to kill these cold fires as they are not closer, the ones that you aggro closer to the Reaper. But I'm just killing them, hoping for some golds. <laughs> Perhaps I should have edited out the footage. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't want to have any discontinuity be between the videos. So you can watch this. Or skip to a part later in the video if you see I'm not doing the other quest. But yeah, it's not going to be much longer. Also, if you have these cold fires aggroed onto you, don't run to the part close to the reaper because uh, if you run over there and sometimes they break uh, aggro in weird locations and they'll get stuck to the walls and then there's a l there are, there are unnecessary cold fires that you have to kill. Okay, this is the end of part one. Please move on to part two for the rest of the video. Thanks.